I'm back. All right, kiddos are gonna go to the library. I'm gonna put my glasses on. Because I need them. My eyes are hurting. And with each volley, these guys should get almost 100 kills. And then we're gonna wait. Actually, no, you're gonna come here. What is this? 100% miscast chance? I don't know why you put that there. You know what? Kill him, please. 400. 400. That's all he's got. Who are you? We're Fenerot. Go away. I don't need you. There we go. Now he's getting lots of kills. If we can hold the line. He still got away. Daggummit. And we just got to hold. Oh, none of these guys. There we go. Those are some good kills. All right. Oh, that's not going to do a whole lot. Not as much as I wanted it to. Let's get into battle. What? Let the vengeance begin. We just need to hold the line is just what we need to do right now. And then you just target the big, large clumps. That's all you got to do, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. What can I do? That's going to be a juicy bomb. I'm impressed. That works. Gets them to route. Actually, let's do it like right there. He's only got a couple of lobs left. Hopefully we can hit a thousand. You think? Uh, I don't think we've got this, by the way. I don't know. It's going to be very, very close. What's this? Ruins currently unavailable while on shared cooldown. Oh. He's not to the point yet where he has to need that. Let's go ahead and get a, a shared or an increased attack. Melee attack. Might be able to whittle those guys down just a little bit faster. Uh, we have the Rune of Speed here as well. Which may be a little bit better than having to worry about armor. We have increased attack. Ideally, we'll be able to... That didn't do anything. And if we can get that chieftain down, I think that'll really help too. They're holding the lines like... Oh my word, like mad. There we go. There's a line that's faltered. Let's go ahead and push them. It's all of those slingers that are going to be the deciding factor, I feel. We're not going to do any casting until that goes away. Now, these guys will come back, so I don't want to commit them to this flank. But we do have to get these guys to push in i'm not super incredibly confident right now let's get an armor buff no no routing no routing that's not what we're here for we need to route their troops not ours can you make it over to here? See if you can't make it through. If we can take out their, their leader, both of their leaders, I feel like we've got the best chance there. Okay, he's routing, which is good. I'm 
Come on in. Come on in. The water's fine. There we go. Oh. <laughs> that will never cease to make me happy. Hopefully that did what I needed it to. Is he going to come back? He is going to come back. Let's go ahead and meet him. Still not entirely confident in ourselves. And they're just going to kite. So let's not worry about that. But we will go ahead and move up. Because those guys are eventually going to run out of ammo. He is going to come back after us. Move yourself up here, good sir. Just pew pew them. Here we go. Pursue, please. Uh, 41 seconds until we get our armor. Crap. Oh, we need you on this flank. Goodness gracious. Get that charge bonus for those guys coming in. I say we hold out. Man, we just really need to kill their lords. Where is their lord at? Oh, they have two. They have multiple. They got three. I don't know that we got this. I don't know that we do. Uh, you're our last hope. That's fine. Take out the grudge throwers. Oh, I really need to kill this guy. Dang it, he's going to escape. I'm not going to keep pursuing him. He's got 240 health. Let's go ahead and support our troops over here. You're doing daggum good just chilling out here, by the way. So, well done. They just have so much ammo. I feel like it's just going to come down to them pelting us. And we can see if they survive. And that's pretty much just how it's going to be. All right, let's get over here. Let's get ulces. Oh, I'm trying to survive, man. Here we go. Come back. Yes. Yes. To me, soldiers. Uh, Let's just baboom this one. See if we can't knock out a bunch of people. I need a lord. Where is the lord? There he is. Ulces. Please die. Oh my word. What about you? No, I think I'd rather baboom. Oh my word. Are they all routing? Please say so. Oh my word. I cannot believe that we just won that. That was like a fi over five to one odds. Over five to one, and we beat them. I mean, admittedly, it's Skaven, but still. Do they all lose their army? No, they don't. Uh, I really need reinforcements. Please don't attack me again. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay.
Holy crap, man. Let's, uh, let's chill at home for a little bit. I really kind of want those Slayers now. Um... A rune of slowness might be the best thing to fight against the Skaven with. If I can slow down some of those lords, I feel like it'd do a lot of good. Uh, so we have... So this means they get this forever. I thought it was just like a three use deal. That's what it makes it sound like. I guess not. So that's really, really useful. Let's go... I think you get three of them. Oh, is that... So, like, I have three runes of burning that I can use. Or I have three... That's super cheap. Like, holy crap. <laughs> that's super cheap. Um, explosive damage, but I can't add multiple runes to a single unit, can I? <sighs> Charge bonus, immune to psychology. Expert charge defense. You know what? That might be really good for going up against the Skaven as well. Attribute causes fear. Let's do that one. Rune of dismay times three. Bonus versus infantry plus eight. Now I can't uh, assign them those until I'm in battle, correct? That's what they need to be able to do. I wish it like you had like a tab like right here that just showed you your list of runes that you had. So you could assign them because I'm not going to remember. Help me remember, guys. I'm a dumbo when it comes to that stuff. Uh, I don't want to pay an outrageous amount of money. So we'll chill here. Oxel gets like what kind of a garrison? They've got a really good garrison, so I don't think we would lose uh, lose that one. That being said, remember the runes. I still don't think we can do anything with these guys. Eight units is not enough to take on... Do you think I could take on a, let's let's go down here and see if there's anyone in here? Well, there's a big old army. Queen Kalida. Okay, never mind. Well, we answered our own question. Let's just hang around here for a little bit. You know what? Let's Trade agreement, payments in 300. Throw in that and military access. Okay. Uh, we won't do a military alliance because they don't like us just yet. That also fulfills a mission. Gives us an extra 500 buckaroonies. Anything below a 20 stack moving around is kind of a waste of gold. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I just don't want to get... I guess I can just not get rid of my Thunderers. I mean, we couldn't take on this, this army here. Let's save up some dough, rebuild our infrastructure. Build up our infrastructure, I should say. And see how we go from there. I do wish we had more replenishment. Might want to take a few turns and build up. And I mean, honestly, we're paying a lot for this guy. We're paying 455 gold. 
but this will give me an uptick. Rite of Awakening has been performed. The Call to Clan for Miners and Dwarf Warriors. Oh, nice. Thrice Cursed Peak, Lost Halls Reclaimed. We get Growth plus 10 for three turns after that. Extra armies can raise the upkeep. Yeah, it raised the upkeep by quite a bit. I know that's for sure. Uh, let's go... I'm wondering if we shouldn't start focusing on this stuff. Income from settlements isn't going to be a ton, but that's going to be better than nothing. How many turns is this going to take? Four turns for replenishment. Part of me really wants to go after these guys again. I We, we have to recruit up. We have to. All right, so we're going to end turn spam for a couple of turns. And we'll go from there. Faction destroyed the Sentinels of Chetty. Uh, Chetty. And we'll go ahead and boost up to that next level. How long? We got two turns. 18 turns. We got to figure out how to boost our growth outside of uh, that public order because that's a doozy. That's a big old doozy. And I don't want to waste my gold on anything else either because we need to see how well our armies do in this. I got, I got what, six runes to pass out? The Bray Herds come. Ruh -roh. Uh Evanescent Rift. Rith. A microscopic fissure is open between the material world and the realms of chaos. That doesn't affect us because we don't use magic like that. Uh, what is this? We don't get anything from that, though, do we? If you want something done right, your dwarfs. What is growth? Ha ha ha! That would actually be really interesting if they, uh, if they like, kind of uh, nerfed growth for the Dawi simply because of kind of that mechanic. I'm gonna move my chat over to here. I know you guys don't care, but I'm just letting you know. There we go. Income from settlements plus five. We're going to bump that right up into uh, dwarf treasuries. And we're definitely powerful enough to go after these guys again. What's up? Seeking knowledge. Okay, how come I don't have... So... Oh. Why don't I have runes? I mean, I should have runes, right? I am confused. You have to clip them on your lord first? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Fight for your own. Again, my my noobness is showing. Okay, I see. So let's go. What do we want to do? We want the rune of dismay. Do I, am I allowed to put it, will they still be affected if I put them on my hero too? Let's just do this. Let's take all of the followers and runes from uh, Thoric. Because I'll just make sure he stays in there forever. I do have a character. Let's do that. And then let's go back to Thoric. Can you read the description of the dwarf's bride follower? Where is that? Was where who had that? Was that uh, Gotri? Dwarf bride. A dwarf bride often comes with a hefty dowry. By tradition, her weight in gold, which probably explains why hot-blooded dwarves take to curvier mates. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. I like it. 
<laughs> oh shoot. That's funny. Uh, let's go with the Anvil of Doom. And then we're going to go into here. And we're going to get the... Uh, Rune of Battle. Okay. Very nice. All right, so we can get a commandment here. We are, of course, going to do Untainted in Public Order. And there we have our growth, which is a lot better than in other places. So uh, if we taxed it, how much would that give us? Wow, that actually gives us a pretty chunky sum. We'll stay in there. We'll, we'll stay like this. Again, there's not much I need to do here. We need to see if Skaven boys will come in. There's some Skaven. That may be their last army. I bet it is. A stranger comes, cloaked, uh, cloaked stranger from the misdrouded lands of Albion, approaches you with a request. He is of sinister aspect, but assures you that his intentions are good. No, we're gonna we're gonna refuse that creature. Rune Lord of Cough up and clear off. Ooh, Ekrand Miners. Charge bonus. Uh, people killed. Okay, so the clan's not dead, like we thought, but that's okay. Let's get uh, the refectory. That's going to give us the dwarf beer resource production, which is what we need anyways. And then a veteran anvil guard, a rune master, great locus, a locus of power, the rune of Grimir. I don't think we need to worry about that stuff. Uh, why can't I not get this? Okay, available at rank 12. Let's go down to a Pure Beard as well. We're going to go here. Forge Fire. Augment is a constant around the self. Minus 15 armor. That's Tried and hefty. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hefty sum of money there. Or a, a hefty debuff, I should say. We're going to pump into growth as well. We need to get that up and running. He's leveled up just by default. Let's get a pure beard in here too. Do what we can. All right, let's go into diplomacy. We're going to go into these guys. Okay, we'll see if they'll get a little higher up as we go along. The reason why I want them, I guess I actually don't need them in an alliance. I was going to use them to get into an alliance to get some of these things, but we don't really need it. Uh, so let's let's head down this way, guys. What do you think? You think we should head down, secure the coasts? Because that does give us another piece There's nothing south of us. We can take on the Dark Elves and just kind of circle back around. I'm trying to figure out my game plan here. Also, it's a little bit bonkers. We've been streaming for almost three hours. It doesn't really feel like it. War declared the court of Liberus against the Blessed Dread. Clan Pestilence has been destroyed. Huzzah. Um, I think we're going to keep and see how those guys go. We're just going to intern spam as I get across. I'd still go for building up a little bit. Okay, we can do that. Go Trick and Felix. Recent conversations in the local tavern has been centered around a pair of powerful mercenaries rumored to be traveling through nearby provinces. The famous dwarf slayer known as Go Trick Gurnison and his human companion and chronicler, Felix Jaeger. Some in the Empire consider Gotrek and Felix to be outlaws, but the duel are known to have slain some of the most insurmountable adversaries. Should they be persuaded, 
they would be truly formidable allies. If we can recruit them, we will 100% do that. How do I how do I potentially recruit them? The great thing about them is they don't cost anything. They also don't increase. Oh, well then 100%. How do we get them is the question. Uh, and speaking of Thorek, he gets uh, the Anvil of Doom. So he's on a mounted anvil. What is... Hold on. You need... You have not hired any ogre mercenaries. Oh, I'd like to. From ogre camps, which have a chance to appear after battles or when raiding. Move a hero, a lord or hero, over the blue light. <gasps> oh. Always are best. Duh. Duh. Axe's bloodthirst is sated, but my doom is yet to come. What malign beast must we face next, Gotrak? And of Lomino's. Success successfully carry out any hero actions. Following your acceptance, they are yours to command. Oh, so they're only here for 30 turns. Well, dadgummit. Arcane wisdom. Oh, he's an actual army art. Oh, okay. I get ya. Well, let's... I guess just fight side by side for a little bit. I really don't want to, like, recruit a whole bunch of people and put them in there if they aren't going to stick around. That's kind of dumb. If you want something done right. All right. Uh, let's go with... We do have a couple of tool things, places, right? Yeah, the Tinker Shops. These guys just have zero growth. Let's go ahead and just destroy that and let's build a farm. That's going to be a lot more influential for us. And then we will go ahead and build that upgrade. Here we go. They keep coming back every so often when you build taverns after a cooldown. Okay, that's cool. The Sword of Cain has been claimed. I don't think there's really anything I can do. We're just kind of uh, figuring out the game plan, moving along. I still think I should go down to the coast. I don't think we're going to be able to get in a good enough relationship with the court of Liberus. Clan Fester has been destroyed. An enemy has wronged us, but riding this grudge will cost us deeply, perhaps too deeply. Maybe just this once, we should ignore the slight and focus on the grander objective. A wrong put right. Yeah, that's fine. Rune Lord of I'm listening. Uh, oh no, I need to use the underway. I can make these guys come this way because they can't use the underway, right? Oh no, they can. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just use them and crisscross applesauce away. Cool. Wow, they really do level up quick over here. That's fine. That's going to really stimulate my growth. They also don't level up. They give their experience gained to your lords. Not aggression for those boyos down there. Uh, no. Nah. Not right now. Oh, goodness gracious. What do we got going on here? Corruption, taxes, and difficulty. Uh, we should probably do like this watch room stuff, right? Goat pastures. What is this? A trading depot, a trinket. I don't really know what we should do. 
the sun. Accepted. Tried and tested. What? Oh, I was like, what are they doing? But that's not my settlement, so I'm okay. Uh, what should we do down here? Public order would be nice. It's not something we have to do. Hmm, I'm still not sure to be honest. We'll build a tinker there. Do 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 do. Getting that intern spam. Technology researched. Sort of cane. Let's go down to here. So we also need to try raiding. If we raid for a consistent amount of turns, I think we can nab some ogre mercenaries, which is something I'm very desperate to try out. Growth plus 10, that's always going to be good. Income from tool makes is going to be better. We'll have to see. We're kind of in a, a weird little spot right now. Hello. Let's go there. Uh, let's go ahead and build another refactory. And just buff the holy crap out of uh, this region and make it kind of our most profitable. Can you say I'm busy? I'm just say I'm busy. No. No, we shan't. I'm gonna go to war because I want to see what she has underneath here. Faction destroyed the man light, the man blight tribe. I think the Golden Colossus... Oh, it's not. The Forgotten Isles. Where is that? Is that over here? I think it is. The Dust Gate. Or is it down here? Let's go this. We are going to declare war. She's at war with, like, everyone in the region, so it's not going to be a big problem, I don't think. Ooh, that's a nice sacky sack. Yeah, let's do that. Artifact piece secure. Heroes pendant. Let's uh, repair. Why are you in attrition? There you go. Problem solved. They're not going to do much, those miners, but they're going to help us at least kind of buff our own army. We have the room of breaking. 25% armor piercing weapon damage, 25% base weapon damage. Imbued is a sundered armor for 30 seconds. We have the rune of negation, 40% damage resistance. The rune of hearth and home is constant, immune to psychology, and a ward breaker. I mean, that's great and all, but I don't know that that would be super helpful. Go with the sharpen. Um, and then what did we want to do down here? I think we still want to do the untainted. Because we really just need to kind of purge that. We'll see what happens. See if she comes in. Their demands, their offers. Oh no, this is... Oh no, we don't want to do Itza. Or Gorok. Uh, no. Sorry. Me no interested.
It's too hot. Right, so tech has been performed. There we go. Forgotten Isles, they are down there. Okay. Uh, so let's get this army and head down south. I'm going to kind of keep these guys here for now. Just for some public order buffing. We've buffed everything there. Our Lord still needs stuff to do. You know what? Let's... Oh, we, we tore that down. Never mind. We'll have growth. And then we'll see if we can't level up this guy, build stuff, and start uh, cranking out another army here so we can start pushing north. That'll be the plan. The Rite of Awakening has been performed. We've researched that. The Sword of Cain has been claimed. Seems to be a lot of that going on. Very, very quickly. Get some buffs so whenever we get the Quarrelers, they do have a little... They are a little bit cheaper. Let's... Can I use the Underway to hip-hop and skip over to there? I don't think so. That would be really hilarious if we could, though. She doesn't have much. I think we'll be okay. I can't. I can't uh, push into that realm yet. We have no reason to. Can you see I'm busy? Sorry for the intern spam. I know it's not very fun. But uh, we're just trying to figure out all the next moves to get pushing. And we haven't even had a really uh, battle worth going into, really. Let's just go ahead and fight this, just because we can. It says a Pyrrhic victory anyway, so let's, let's, let's push it, shall we? It's a very small settlement, goodness gracious. King Araru. Uh, Araru? Araru? Reinforcements are going to come pouring out of that tunnel. Don't feel like there's much we can do aside from just a straight up assault. Oh, we can't take that. Okay. Let's try that. Let's push over on that part. Let's push over on here. There we go. Let's push up. Let's put up. Push up. I thought we you said we could attack the gate with miners and stuff, Radis. If you're even here. Probably not even here. But you can't. How? It says I cannot. Is there a specific thing where you can attack? How do I command to attack at a certain space? I mean, odds are by the time we even get down to this, we'll be okay. Iron breakers can break it down. Get your beards up there. So much pain. This is not a smart move. I'm immediately regretting all of it. Let's move on in. See if we can't take those. Pause the fight and check. 
So I have miners with blasting charges. I have them selected. Unless I can specifically tell them to attack a certain space, which I don't think... There we go. You have to hold down Alt. We'll see if that works. Are they going to throw stuff at it? Well, there we go. It's too late. It's too late. Uh, you. Get good? No! I refuse. Why are they not just like decimating? This is dumb. Let's go ahead and move on in. Throw all the things. There we go. Holy crap, man. Come on in here. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> That's right. Keep pushing, boys. There we go. Take on those Nehekara warriors. Kill them. Nice. Do we have anywhere else where units are? We don't. They're just going to kind of do what they want to do. Move along. I'm just really surprised that they're able to, those Tomb Guard are able to take him on like it's no big deal. Here we go. Hey guys, you know what you forgot to let me do? Forgot to tell me to put runes on. Disappointed, chat. Disappointed. Push. Push. Run, Ricky. Yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful anvil. It looks like he just does like an area of attack. Nope. Okay, I thought he did. No more Strike the runes. Come on in here, boy. I can't cast this on a wall. Nope. Maybe I can do some damage to those guys. Just a little bit. Get out of here. Get out of here, Slayers. I just paid for you. Really prefer it if uh, you didn't die. Ushabti. We might lose a unit. Okay. Back down into here. I don't feel like that's effective, so we're not going to keep doing it. We need to go after that prince. They are holding the line right there, which is extremely unfortunate. Uh, let's go with melee attack and speed. The... What are those? The Ushabti? 
They are retreating. Or not retreating, they're faltering. There we go. Well, this is a costly little victory we're going to have ourselves. I feel like once this guy dies, we may be in a much better position. Let's go with... Are those skeleton ponies? They are. <laughs> well done. Well done. Let's go... We're going to cause some fear. I know it probably doesn't do anything, but I really just want it for that melee attack. King Araru, I do believe, will be uh, wiped soon. And then we've still got these guys who are just able to cause some serious damage. Rip Skelly Ponies, that's exactly correct. Wow, he managed to route the... What the crap is going on? What the crap? Tomb guard with halberds. Let's uh, let's get on the walls here, boys. Enemy lord is wounded. Good. Those iron breakers should do a lot of damage. These guys are starting to route. Fantastic. I think we're doing good. I think we've got it. There we go. Where are the rest of their troops? They really just have a Tomb King dude over here? All right, let's go. Let's go get him. And then uh, some of you boys can come capture. How about that? Does that sound fun? I like that idea. Hey yo! There we go. Oh, my family left. Hold on, there's a noise outside my room, and my family's not here. <laughs> if you hear bloody screams, uh, I possibly died. 